What's going on everybody? My name is Alan from Monster Digitals. We had a handful of people asking us how to install artwork on Vice Sticks, so we figured we'd make a video. So here are the designs we have at the moment. The yellow design was printed at home and the black design was printed using FedEx's self-service printing. Our designs are meant to be printed on 8.5 by 14 cardstock or legal size cardstock. If you print on paper that's not 8.5 by 14, then the image won't fit properly on the fight stick. So the yellow design still has the white border attached. This is what it looks like right after you print it out. The white border on the black design has already been cut out. You can cut the white borders using a paper cutter or scissors. We recommend using a paper cutter to cut the sides and then scissors to cut around the corners. That's how we did it. So in order to change the artwork, the first thing you do is remove the top of the joystick and cover plate. You do this by opening the fight stick, use the flathead screwdriver tool that comes with the stick to hold the bottom of the screw, and then you just unscrew the top joystick counterclockwise. Next, we remove the top panel. To do this, we gotta use the hex head to remove the hex screws under the top panel. The screwdriver tool is interchangeable, so it's pretty convenient. There are 8 screws total you gotta take out. Then you just pop out the red border and remove the top panel and artwork. Oh, and I don't recommend you do this with cats around, especially feisty cats like this one. So since we already cut out the white border on this design, we're just going to go ahead and continue with this one. So in order for the design to fit, we need to cut out these holes. I'm sure there are a lot of ways to do this. For instance, you could use an X-Acto knife, small razor, or you could even use a top panel as a stencil and use a pen to cut out the holes. We tried various ways, but we think that using an X-Acto knife or small razor is best. I mean, using a pen to cut out the holes worked for, with thinner paper but we ran into some issues when trying to cut through thick cardstock. So for this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and use a small razor because that's pretty much all we had access to at the moment. So before you start cutting the holes out, we recommend that you prepare the counter you're working on to avoid damaging your countertop. We just got an old shoe box top that was lying around and some paper to use as a buffer between the razor and the counter. I'm sure cardboard will work as well. So time for the cutting. This takes a little patience. It does get a little easier after you cut the first couple holes. You just get the hang of it. So when you're cutting these holes out, we recommend you just cut a little bit outside of the white area. The artwork fits better on the fire stick if you cut it this way. So after the holes are cut out, the next step would be to just put everything back together. So first is the artwork. The artwork can be a little tight around the button area so sometimes if this happens then you just got to push the artwork down around the button area to secure it in place. Next set the top panel and red border back in its place and use the hex head to screw the screws back in. The last step is to put the cover plate and joystick top back on using the same technique we used to unscrew the joystick top. And that's it! Hope you guys found this video helpful. Please let us know if you missed anything. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care!